Greetings, everyone, and welcome to this Christmas Eve worship service at First United Methodist Church in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and Merry Christmas. So this week, people from all across our city uh, came to our church and picked up at-home worship kits, and in those worship kits were candles for our candlelighting portion of the service and communion elements during communion. And so you'll want to gather candles and elements for communion at this time. And it's a joy to welcome you and to celebrate this Christmas with you. Let us pray. Gracious God, with joy and thanksgiving, we gather as your people. We have come to hear again the timeless story of Christ's birth. In the excitement of this time, quiet our hearts that we may know the peace and fullness of your presence. Shine, O light, in the darkness of our world. Sing, O angels, in the stillness of our hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and let us worship you. Amen. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. 
But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you, born this day in the city of David, a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. <clears throat> when the angel had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child laying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. This is the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear this invitation to Holy Communion. Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him, who earnestly repent of their sins, and who seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and one another. 
Lord Jesus Christ, you are loving and merciful. Forgive us for being so captivated by Christmas that we forget that you, the little baby in the manger, grew up as the Lord over all creation. It is sometimes easier to leave you in the manger than it is to reckon with your difficult teachings and fierce challenges. So often we do not follow these teachings and we do not live up to your challenges. We need your grace and your strength to follow you more closely. Forgive us for all of our sins as we continue to pray in silence. People of God, through the coming of Jesus Christ, whose birth we celebrate, the Lord has com comforted and redeemed us. Recall the words of the angels, good news, great joy, all people. In Christ, we receive the salvation of our God. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. So as we prepare our hearts for communion, uh, we confess our sins before God, which we just did, uh, and that uh, reconciles us to God. But we're also called to reconcile ourselves to one another, and so we participate in what's known as the passing of the peace. And so I want to invite you to do that now. Uh, you can share the peace of Christ with people via text message, on social media, and of course if there are people worshiping with you, we invite you to share the peace of Christ with them. Peace be with you. So I want to invite you to interact with us in uh, several different ways, and you can do that uh, by texting uh, the letters F-U-M-C to 225-465-0770. Uh, and by doing that, you'll get some links back. One of those will be a connection card, and that way you can let us know that you're worshiping with us. We're really glad that you're here this Christmas Eve, and I uh, just want to know that you're here. So take a moment and fill that out. You'll also see an opportunity to fill out a prayer request if you have a joy or a concern that you'd like us to lift up. And then, of course, there are options to support the church financially. Uh, you can do that via text uh, through that link. You can also go to the church's website and make a gift there, uh, and you can always mail a check to the church, and you'll see that address on your screen. On Christmas Eve, we take up a special offering uh, every year, and usually that offering is geared towards children, particularly those who might be in need. And this year, our offering is going to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank. Uh, I don't know if you've heard in the news, but food banks around our nation are struggling during COVID-19. And from what I understand, the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank usually serves about 100,000 people a year. During COVID, they've been serving 50,000 people a month. And so there's a great need. And for every dollar that you give, uh, you can provide three meals. And so I want to encourage you to give generously. And you can give to that offering by texting the word food, F-O-O-D, to 225 -225. And uh, so that's one way you can support that offering. You can also go to the church's website and you'll see a drop down option. Just make sure you click the one that says food. And if you want to mail a check to that offering, just please make sure that you put food in your memo on your check. But again, I encourage you to support that cause. Uh, there is great need in our community. So uh, I do want to lift up and, and offer some special thanks to someone uh, this evening, or really it's a, a, a few someones. So if you've uh, been watching worship uh, over the last several months, really since March, either online, on television, or maybe uh, during one of our, uh, our uh, live streams, uh, there's a group of people who make that uh, possible, and one of those is Stephen Loy. And Stephen has been hard at work during this season uh, providing this great ministry for us, so I wanted to offer my thanks for, uh, to Stephen and also to Amy Book, who's responsible for scheduling all of these things. And so uh, if you've enjoyed any of those ministries, during this time. You have Stephen and Amy uh, to thank. And so I just want to let you all know we, we love you, Stephen. We love you, Amy. And we thank you for the hard work that you do. And with those things said, I'll invite you to bow your heads in prayer as we ask God's blessing on this time of offering. Let us pray. O oh Lord, the light of your peace shines like the dawn. Give us eyes of faith so we will see Christ's presence in our midst. Direct our hearts to the poor, to the cold, to the hungry, to the oppressed, to the sick, to those that mourn, to the lonely. Lord, use us to touch these, your children, with your love, your presence, and your provision. 
Lord, we ask that you receive, receive these gifts as a sign of our gratitude and of our commitment to live into the new life that you give in Christ Jesus. And we pray these things in the name of the child of Bethlehem. Amen. And will you join me in the prayer for Holy Communion, which you'll find uh, on your screen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Gracious God, in this blessed Christmas season, we give you thanks and praise. You created all that is and called it good. You made us in your own image. Though we have rebelled against your love, you loved the world so much that you sent your only Son to be our Savior. As Mary and Joseph went from Galilee to Bethlehem, so Jesus went from Galilee to Jerusalem. 
as they came and found no room in which to stay. So Jesus came and was rejected and despised by men. As the babe was laid in a humble manger, so Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross. As in that lowly manger Jesus was born, so from the shame of death he was raised to bring us to life. Let us pray. With the shepherds and wise men, we offer ourselves and our gifts in union with Christ's offering for us. By the power and blessing of your Holy Spirit, may the bread which we share be a sharing of the body of the living Christ, and the cup which we share be a sharing of his blood. We join the entire company of heaven and all your people now on earth proclaiming, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, good will toward all. And now I invite you to join me in the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This is the body of Christ, which is broken for you. And this is the blood of Christ shed for you. And now I invite you to receive the bread and the cup.
Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this holy time, for bringing us together at your table, surrounded by your love. We thank you for this holy meal, for asking us to taste and see how much Jesus loves us. We thank you for the glad songs we sing and the gifts of love we receive. Help us to give ourselves in love and joy. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. So we've come to that time I think that everyone really looks forward to on Christmas Eve, and that's the lighting of candles and the singing of Silent Night. So you'll want to have your candles ready. But I just want to offer a a few thoughts as we enter into this time, and want to begin with a reading from the Gospel of John, the first chapter. In the beginning was the Word... And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. This is the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So 2020 is a year that none of us will soon forget. Uh, Partisan politics have divided the people in our nation in a way that I have not seen in my 50 years. And people who are older than me say they haven't seen anything like this before either. The coronavirus has infected 77 million people worldwide with 1.7 million deaths. COVID-19 has also caused a disruption and cancellation of graduations, birthday parties, vacations, business openings, school, and more. Many have suffered the loss of income and work. People have been kept from visiting loved ones in retirement communities, and others have lost loved ones. Uh, maybe, maybe you've lost someone that you love. Following the death of George Floyd, people of every stripe raised their voices and marched in the streets demanding justice for people of color in our nation. In Louisiana, we weathered five named storms And our brothers and sisters in southwest Louisiana were hit particularly hard. And I know that some of you have experienced your own personal challenges and darknesses. Maybe it's uh, relationship troubles or maybe a medical diagnosis. If there was ever a year that we needed Emmanuel, God with us, 2020 is that year. If there was ever a year that we need the Prince of Peace to be born in our midst, 2020 is that year. If there is ever a year that we need to hear God's kingdom dream, a dream of love and grace and justice and new life, 2020 is it. If there was ever a year that we needed to remember that the light shines in the darkness, And the darkness did not overcome it. This year, 2020, is it. And that is precisely what we've gathered here to do. To remember, the light shines in the darkness. And the darkness did not, will not, overcome it.
Now hear this blessing. Blessed be your name, O God, forever. You are light, and in you is no darkness. Our darkness is passing away, and already the true light is shining. And may the Christ, by his, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with the sweetness of inward peace and goodwill. Go now and may the blessings of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm.